if you're going to be stuck sitting in the living room, enjoy what you're looking at. I um, got chosen about 18 months ago to be this year's poster artist, and this is the image off here behind me. And um, I actually was uh, the poster artist back in 2004. And oh. uh, through that experience, got to hang out at Tulip Town working on the murals for a number of years and ended up working at the t-shirt shop out there. And I uh, got to see what sold as far as a good quality product. And then in um, 19 or 18, 19, some friends said, why don't you be the poster artist again? So it's like, okay, I'll try out for it again. Um, but the funny part is uh, my original poster in 2004 was interesting because it was kind of a watercolor quilt postcard collection of images. That one was a little bit too busy to make a great background art piece on the wall. So it wasn't the best seller as far as a large painting. And this year with the virus, this is gonna be the second worst selling poster in history. So um, I can probably say I have the two worst selling posters in history for the Tulip Festival. <laughs> well, at least you're keeping your sense of humor about the whole thing, aren't you? I am, uh, vodka does wonders. <laughs> So are you finding that you have just a ton of extra time now? Yes, and you would think I would be doing paintings, but I have to admit, um, you know, it's a stressful time. I don't like producing art under uncircumcised times, and so I'm just kind of going, I think I'll just play in the garden instead. So um, I'm a fanatic about growing dahlias. I don't paint them because there's too many petals. Uh, I love poppies, and I'm going to swing around here just a second here and show you. One of the poppy paintings there, if we go in the background. Ah. So uh, I took all the tubers that I grew last year, uh, divided them up, stored them well. I tried a new storing process and I've been having a blast. And so I thought I'd give them away. And then I thought, well, I better make sure they're good ones. So I started putting a few of them in the dirt. And I'm gonna keep walking as I talk here. And um, I'm gonna see, if I'm not sure about walking and talking at the same time, might not work, sorry. Uh, I took them and I started planting one or two in dirt, thinking that one or two would work. And so all of a sudden, I have 700 of them between this bedroom, the downstairs bedroom, which I won't show you because it really looks bad. It's in piles. And then my greenhouse out the back. My cat had to give up her post in the window. Oh. She, she's, she is not very happy about that. Here, can you get her? She's kind of grumpy. Hi. There we go. So anyway, there's my, my world, uh, tulips and dahlias included. So at this point, I love dahlias. Oh, that is great. And, and I know a lot of people are taking this time to really get into gardening and art is another way to really bring nature into your home. Totally. Brings the color in, changes the mood. If you're going to be stuck sitting in the living room, enjoy what you're looking at. Absolutely. So I love the poster image that you came up with this year. And I assume that the posters are made and people can still buy them. Yes, so at this point you can go to the tulipfestival.org and you can buy all their products online. And that includes cups, tiles, um, uh, magnet pads, small posters, large posters, t-shirts. What would be some tips you could give people if they want to have the festival experience even though they can't have the festival experience this year? There are some phenomenal videos out there, especially with the drones nowadays of just oh, yeah. zooming in over the tops. If someone wanted to get a hold of you, um, you know, at any time of year to look at your art, what, where would they go? So I've got a website, jenniferbowman.com. Um, you can follow some antics of mine on Facebook, uh, Jennifer Bowman dash artist. And um, I think I got a couple of links in there somewhere, some videos, somebody recently did some great videos of, of kind of the history of, of my being an artist from beginning to end and how it tied into the Tulip Festival. Okay, awesome. We will we will do that. And thank you so much, Jennifer. Great to see you. You're welcome. Thanks so much.